Hi, I'm Erin from the Leave No Trace Center for Outdoor Ethics, and today we're playing the game Would You Drink It? Today on Would You Drink It, we're testing out how three common camp products affect our water sources. First up is something in everyone's beach bag, sunscreen. Sunscreen is often used and worn near water sources. Once the swimsuits come out, so does the sunscreen. So let's ask the question, Would You Drink It? When purchasing sunscreen, try to stick with a reef safe version. Before swimming, let your sunscreen soak in or wipe off residue with the wilderness wipe. Next up, we have Bad Breath's worst enemy, toothpaste. Nobody wants a stinky smile while camping and a creek can be an easy place to rinse your toothbrush. But let's ask the question, Would you drink it? Try going without toothpaste. It can be just as effective. And if you really have to spit, do it 200 feet away from water sources. Last up is the three-in-one dishwashing, body scrubbing, shampooing, biodegradable soap. Biodegradable soap is used for all kinds of camp chores. Often, these happen near a water source. So let's ask the question, Would you drink it? While biodegradable soap is a better option than traditional soap, it's still not something we want to put in our water sources. Anytime you're using it, make sure you're 200 feet or 70 big steps away from water. Thank you so much for playing, and remember, water sources help sustain our lives and the lives of all this. Let's work together to keep them clean.